the render map property will allow you to bake data either to a texture or to um, a color of vertices map. So let's go ahead and check it out. If we were to select our geo and go to property uh, render map, this will apply. Um, well, we need to make sure that we're in object mode when we do it. Uh, it's kind of pausing here for a second. So let's uh, give soft a moment. So um, here we have our render map property. If you're not in object mode, it will not apply um, to it. Uh, and by default, it's going to look for UVs because we're in uh, the entire surface sampling. This is going to bake it to a texture. So in order to do this, we're going to need to uh, apply some UVs. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. Texture projection. And I'm actually going to do a, uh, let's do in unique UVs. And we'll do angle grouping is fine. Let's see what works. And that should be fine for the example. So um, here we have our UVs. Let's go back to this window here. And uh, let's, uh, let's do a 512 map. And let's pick our UV section or our UV projection. If you have multiple projections, make sure you pick the appropriate projection. Um, and what this option is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to take um, the information that we have within our render tree and bake that out to a texture. Um, so right now we really don't have anything um, in our um, uh, in our uh, render tree. So let's uh, apply something here. We can do an ambient occlusion. Let's take an ambient occlusion and just plug that in. And let's go ahead and just do a quick render and see what this is looking like. A lot of time I'll use the render map um, to um, get a quick texture to Photoshop. So in this instance, uh, what I would do, I would go here and just kind of pick a color scheme that I might want to play with. So I might pick that. Um, just go to HSV. Uh, kind of maybe lower this down a bit. Bring up my saturation. Get a lower frequency hue here and kind of test that out and see what that looks like. So this would give me um, a pretty decent start for a uh, for um, a texture to use. Um, well, texture to paint within Photoshop. I think I would actually come down here. And usually when I do these, um, I'll usually end up bringing down my samples a little bit or keeping my samples low so I get a little noise to my textures. So, uh, well, anyway, uh, let's just bring this up just a little bit. Cool. So, um, this is the texture that I'm actually going to save out to. Um, well, this is the material that's going to save, uh, be baked out to texture. So, what I'll do, um, I'll hit 8, and then open up our geo. And here you can see here's the render map property. Double click that, it will give me my. Um, my uh, render map PPG, and in this instance, I can um, save my lighting information um, and color information. But in this instance, I actually just want to save my surface color information. And if you want to just bake your lighting, you can do so um, as well here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my surface color um, and set my uh, position. So it's going to be in your project folder by default under render pictures, and I'm going to call this. Render map uh, AO and then Heath. Um, I'm going to change this to a JPEG since JPEGs are pretty easy to open. Uh, I don't recommend JPEGs uh, because of the compression. Um, so all I would do from here is just hit regenerate map and it's going to take uh, just a quick moment um, to um, save out the file. So the file should now be saved. So if we hit five um, within the project folder here, we go to render pictures. We'll find our Heath right here. Right click, preview. And you can see this is the texture that's saved up. So that um, that's baking to a texture. You can also, you can alternatively um, um, render out to a um, color at vertices map or vert colors. So in order to do that, you need a um, color at vertices property. So we'll go ahead, go to property colors at vertices map, and that's going to generate um, within your clusters here. You see we have this new color at vertices uh, property right here. So 
with that, we just go to our render map. And then within the render app, we, we want to change our sampling instead of entire surfaces, uh, entire surface to vertices only. Then you pick your calf map. Um, in this case, I just want surface color only again. Uh, but if you wanted to bake your lighting, you can do so there as well. So uh, here we'll go ahead and regenerate map. It'll take just a moment. And now you can see that I have my, um, my, uh, my, texture baked into my vertices. Thing to uh, remember with the calf map, um, it is the resolution is determined by your um, by your geometry count. So um, if you want um, a higher detail, you're going to want to add more uh, geometry. So there you go.